Okay, we have a caller. Uh, Brother Muhammad from Egypt. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Akhi Muhammad. Yes, Akhi, what can I do for you? Uh, Sheikh Asim, I know you're not expecting this call, and it was an engineer. This is uh, Muhammad Salah. I'm sitting here in the studio, and I'm watching you. And uh, trust me, I'm very, very pleased to see you sitting there where you deserve. May Allah bless you and your family. Amen. And may Allah benefit with you and your knowledge. Amen. And Sheikh Asim, uh, you know, it's such an honor to be blessed by Allah the Almighty to serve the Ummah for so many years, educate them in the... Uh, other than Arabic in the English language, answering tons of questions we ask Allah Almighty to accept from all of us, from you, from myself, and all our colleagues. There is a, a, a very big concern after 16 years presenting uh, on Huda TV, Sheikh Hassan, mm -hmm. which is the concern that still a lot of people inquire about, do I have to follow a particular madhab? Mm -hmm. Especially people who certain ethnicities coming from a particular background. Unfortunately, given precedence to a mazhab over the sound and the authentic sunnah, that is something I'm very certain that you've tackled before repeatedly, as well as myself. I would really love to hear from you so that you can educate me and uh, the viewers likewise in this concern. Also, a word of advice, especially for those who are living in the West Europe and the US and North America in general, uh, when they hear from here and there, you should be listening to this person and should not be listening to this person, pick and choose, and vouching the credibility of certain people based on uh, particular categorizations, which, which is not really based on is on the right path or not, but to be a specific, uh, to be specifically following a particular group uh, or sect. I would really appreciate if you can uh, take some of your very precious time to tackle this matter, or these two matters, please. And once again, thank you so much for um, accepting our invitation here and presenting the program today. May Allah bless you and your family. Ameen. Ameen. Zakallah khair, Dr. Muhammad Salah. And I have to admit, I was hesitant and reluctant to take your seat, Zakallah khair, your contribution to Huda TV is not matched by any of us. MashaAllah, your dedication, your sincerity. That you devoted your time, your effort, and your money for this channel to be ongoing. And by far, Huda TV is one of the channels that is a beacon of light for every Muslim home has been like this and it will inshallah continue to be like this with the sincere uh, uh, dedication of Dr. Muhammad Salah and his brothers uh, working in this channel to keep the good work going alhamdulillah as for what my friend and dear brother Dr. Muhammad Salah has asked me to comment on I'm afraid that this might take most of the time and we spoke about this so many times and those who know me know my approach to it but because it's a request of a dear brother I will not hesitate inshallah to uh, um, comment in a nutshell what are you I'm a Muslim what kind of a Muslim I don't see any kind or kinds of Muslims in the Quran nor in the Sunnah. I'm a Muslim who follows the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the three favorite generations whom the Prophet described والسلام, to say the best of generation is my generation, companions, and the generation that follows them, tabi'een, and the generation that follows them, tabi'it tabi'een. So you cannot come nowadays and understand the Sharia, the Quran, the Sunnah with your own intellect. It has to be based on the understanding of those who were close to the Prophet ﷺ. So any Tom, Dick or Harry who claims that Gog and Magog, Ya'juj and Ma'juj were zombies or werewolves or Draculas, this is insane. So 
do I have to follow a particular madhab? Well, this depends. All four schools of thought are great schools of thought. They are followers of great imams of the deen. Imam Abu Hanifa al-Nu'man, Imam Malik ibn Anas, Imam Muhammad ibn Idris al-Shafi'i, Imam Ahmad ibn Hamad ibn Hanbal. May Allah have mercy on them all. But they were not the only scholars and imams of their era. There was Imam al-Thawri, there was Imam Abdullah ibn Barak, there was al-Awza'i, there was Sa'd ibn al-Layth, so many of them. So Islam is not exclusive to these four schools of thought. And this is why Allah spoke to us. And he said, whenever you dispute over an issue, refer it back to, the Qur to, to Allah and to the Rasul, to the Prophet ﷺ, meaning refer it back to Quran and Sunnah. Our methodology is that we are not infallible. We are human beings. Dr. Muhammad Salah, myself, any other da'i, we are not scholars. We are students of knowledge. Even real scholars of our times, like Sheikh bin Baz, Ibn Ithameen, uh, uh, and, and Sheikh al-Albani, great scholars of Islam, they're not infallible. Yet, they have the real knowledge. You want to seek knowledge? Seek knowledge through such great scholars while cross-examining it with the Quran and Sunnah. Nowadays, we have new generation of da'is who have done a lot of good work, alhamdulillah. But unfortunately, they keep on camouflaging themselves, changing colors. Uh, um, I don't know why or how, but it's very difficult nowadays under the pressure of the media and of other uh, uh, sources, it's difficult to be steadfast, to continue to hold the torch of calling people to Quran and Sunnah with understanding of the Salaf, to continue holding the torch of avoiding violence and being rude or arrogant, to continue carrying the torch of educating people to love Allah, not to love me, not to love Tom, Dick or Harry, not to abide by we, what we say, but rather to abide by the Sharia laws. If you see people abide by this, follow them. And when you see people are deviated, go out of their path, insist it's either my way or the highway, and they are not complying with the Quran and the Sunnah, you should put question marks and raise flags and be careful. Because like Muhammad ibn Sirin said, may Allah have mercy on his soul, inna hadha al-ilm deen, this knowledge is religion. So you have to know who you're taking your religion from. You have to cross-examine people. So it is not one school of thought that we should follow. We respect all schools of thought. But if you are told that this is the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, and you say, yes, but Imam so-and-so says otherwise, in this case, you're choosing to follow the Imam, not the Prophet ﷺ. And this is why Al-Imam Al-Shafi'i once narrated the hadith. And a man stood and said, okay, Imam Shafi'i, what do you say? And Imam Shafi'i was outraged. He said, do you see me wearing a, a cross? Do you see me wearing the belt of monks? I tell you, the Prophet said so and so. And you say that, what is your opinion? Who has an opinion with the Prophet ﷺ? So I hope this, in a nutshell, answers your uh, um, request, uh, my dear brother Muhammad Salah, and may Allah Azza wa Jal reward you and make me and you uh, uh, steadfast on the straight path.